Good day everyone. Today we will have an introduction to geotechnical engineering. In the past years, the study of soil is focused on the soil mechanics which deals with the study of the physical properties of soil and the behavior of soil masses when these are subjected to various types of forces. But as we all know, there are soils and rock as the subsurface um, ground condition. And so geotechnical engineering was introduced, which is the subdiscipline of civil engineering, which involves all natural materials found close to the surface of the earth. And these are both soil and rock. Geotechnical engineering also includes the application of the principles of soil mechanics and rock mechanics. So the knowledge in the soil mechanics is applied to the geotechnical engineering in order for the designer to evaluate and design the foundation system of any structures, the retaining structures, and other earth structures. So that is the difference of the geotechnical engineering to soil mechanics. There are several components in order for us to understand the geotechnical engineering. And again, this is including the soil mechanics or the study of the behavior of soil, uh, the geology at the site, which is the properties of uh, the earth um, underlying the ground and apart from this uh, soil mechanics and geology it is important that we know how to observe the ground condition we also have to have some experience in in the soil and rocks um, and uh, we should have a very good judgment in every situation in this field so geotechnical engineering does not only focus on having the theoretical knowledge of soil mechanics and geology but it is also important that we have a first-hand experience in um, the the ground condition the subsurface analysis and evaluation and we should know the uh, we should have a very good judgment in any uh, geotechnical engineering issues and condition. So soil mechanics and geotechnical engineering are two different areas. Uh, they are not the same thing. So geotechnical engineering is more of a profession than just a, a simple course or a simple um, subject. Let us have a historical background of geotechnical engineering. Even in the 18th century, there was already a geotechnical engineering. But during those times, they only depend on past experiences of the buildings and the foundations of these structures, of various structures, without any real scientific character. So before, they don't have like soil testing, ground evaluation, or ground analysis. So they try to build the structure and observe if this structure will last and will not crumble or will still be standing for, for many years. So some of those structures that were built during those times were still standing but some have already uh, crumbled. So when these things happen, when there is a tilting of a building or a crumbling of a, a ground, then that's when they try to evaluate and assess the condition and how it um, affects the foundation of the, the structure. What are the processes involved in geotechnical engineering? So before any structure is constructed, there should be 
a ground assessment, they should be a subsurface analysis, or there should uh, be a subsurface evaluation first. This is prior to any uh, construction of any structure. So the first thing that you have to do is to go to the site and have a soil sampling or rock sampling or rock coring. So once we obtain soil and rock samples, we bring the soil and rock samples to the laboratory for testing both the routinary test, the physical property test, the index property test, and the strength test. So after completing the laboratory testing, we obtain the soil properties from the results of the laboratory test. Either we get the physical properties, we get the, the index properties, we get also the strength properties and from there we also get uh, other geotechnical engineering properties so once we already have the soil properties then we will use that in in the analysis of the subsurface and use this in evaluating the ground condition in order for us to design the foundation system of any structure and then once the foundation system is already um, um, designed, then we can now construct the structure. So this process is so important before any structure is made. Now, what are some applications of geotechnical engineering? Since we evaluate the ground condition, we also propose and design foundation system. And the foundation system has many types or different types. One of them is shallow foundation. Shallow foundation, from the term itself, it's shallow. So it's used to transfer the building loads to the underlying ground, mostly in firm soil or if we have light structures, we use shallow foundation. As you can see in the photos, the foundation of the building or the, the, the structure is only resting on a shallower depth. This could be from uh, 1.5 meters to 2 meters. It will not go beyond 5 meters or 6 meters because we are assuming that this foundation is already resting on a firm layer or a competent layer. Or if we are only going to construct a light structure, then we don't need to use larger or deeper foundation and we only apply shallow foundation. So this is one application of geotechnical engineering. But when the ground condition is not very good or the, under, the subsurface condition is mostly weak or soft or loose, or if we are going to construct a heavy structure or the building will be subjected to heavy loads or the structure will be subjected to heavy loads, then a shallow foundation may not be applicable. In this case, we apply deep foundation. So deep foundation is used to transfer the building loads to the underlying ground in mostly weak soils or heavy loads or uh, heavy structures. So as you can see in the photo, the foundation is slender, long, and embedded in two a stronger layer below the ground surface. This is used to surpass the weak soil along the depth. The deep foundation may be uh, resting into bedrock or may be as deep as a greater depth or uh, installed in the greater depth to support the, uh, the structure. Another application of geotechnical engineering is on the construction of retaining walls. 
So from the term itself, retaining wall is used to retain the soil from lateral spreading. So if you have a backfill soil, um, it has to be retained by uh, various types of retaining structures uh, such as um, concrete wall like this one or other types of retaining structures such as um, uh, it could be geosynthetics, it could be uh, shit pile, or it could be copper dump. So these are some types of retaining walls or retaining structures. Geotechnical engineering is also applied to earth dam and concrete dam. Uh, what you see on the left photo is a concrete dam, while on the right photo is an earth dam. So the application of geotechnical engineering in concrete dam is on the foundation system of the concrete dam. So it is important that the foundation system of a concrete dam is um, good enough to support the concrete dam, while the earth dam is mostly composed of an, an earth backfill with um, a, a face wall uh, such as grout, such as uh, uh, other face wall structure. Another application of geotechnical engineering is um, ground preparation uh, like earthworks and excavation. So it is important that whenever we excavate the soil for the ground preparation or foundation preparation, the, the condition or the behavior of the soil is understood um, because the, the foundation system or because the soil that is excavated, when it collapses, it could give you a very big problem during the excavation process. So it is important that we understand the ground condition whenever we do excavation or whenever we do earthworks. Another application of geotechnical engineering is the reinforced earth walls or the mechanically stabilized earth walls. This is now, this is actually a new technology um, where a geotextiles or geosynthetics are used to strengthen the soil such as uh, shown in this photo. This is one type of re re uh, retaining walls also, but with the application of the geosynthetics. So we call this uh, reinforced earth walls where we combine the segmental walls shown in the picture on the right and the geotextile uh, to reinforce the, the, the soil backfill. Another application is like ground improvement using soil nailing. Uh, the photo on the left shows the steel rods that is placed into the holes by drilling it into the walls and grouting it. So this is called soil nailing and soil nailing is one type of uh, ground improvement uh, to um, strengthen the backfill soil. Shift pile is another uh, application in geotechnical engineering which is used for excavation which is used to support waterfront structures and which is used to resist lateral earth pressure. So we can see this in some uh, excavation projects in waterfront structures, the purpose of which is to resist lateral earth pressure. Cover dam is a type of sheet pile walls which is used to enclose an area in order to prevent water from seeping. This is also used uh, in order to um, facilitate work in a marine environment. So this, this one shown in the photo is a series of sheet piles used to enclose these areas in order to uh, uh, construct a foundation system uh, in a marine environment. 
The prevention of landslide is also part of the geotechnical engineering application. As we all know, landslide is always a problem anywhere uh, in the world. And um, it is important that this landslide is prevented by the application of geotechnical engineering, by improving the, the backfill soil, by uh, placing a retaining structure or... Um, by any structure that will support this backfill or prevent this land, uh, backfill from landslide. Tunneling is another geotechnical application um, wherein a, a ground is being bored in order to create a subway or a tunnel and the behavior of the soil or the rock surrounding this tunnel is important to understand and evaluate or assess in order to um, prevent failure of the surrounding soil and facilitate proper construction of tunnels. Geosynthetics are now nowadays being used as a reinforcement to to any slope as a separation as a filtration drainage in roads retaining walls embankments and many more so geosynthetics is geosynthetic materials are very useful nowadays in the field of geotechnical engineering because they can be used they can be used um, in many applications some of the examples are coconut, geomat, geocell, and the baconet.